Hey everyone, how are you doing? My name is Ulysses and thank you for joining me for another Pokemon opening. Hopefully you guys are having a very good day. And if not, you know what? Let's open up some cards. Let's maybe pull some fire and maybe that'll help your day be a little better. And so let's get into it. Today we're going to open up two Chilling Rain Elite Trainer boxes. We do have the normal version or one of the normal versions, the Shadow Rider. This is the Shadow Rider, right? Uh, just normal Chilling Rain ETB. And we have the Pokemon Center uh, exclusive for the Ice Rider Chilling Rain. We're going to do a little uh, ETB battle, see which one is better. And so let's crack these open and let's just open up some packs. <laughs> okay, this, this is our first time opening up an ETB from Chilling Rain. So let's actually look at some of the contents. So this is the uh, normal version. So we have the eight packs right here. We'll set those on the left side. And you'll guys, you guys have to let me know in the comments, who do you think is going to win? Which ETB do you think is going to have the better polls? The normal version or the Pokemon Center exclusive? Okay, we do have the dice. Now, there are going to be some differences between the Pokemon Center and the uh, I guess regular version. Let's see, we got these. Energy. Here's a code card for y'all. And here are the sleeves. Cool looking, very cool. I actually did want to look at this real quick. I actually, I really don't know all the cards inside of Chilling Rain. Oftentimes I just like opening up the set and kind of finding out what's in it as we go. But we'll go ahead and look real quick just at some of the 100,000 secret rares. <laughs> this set has so many secret rares, oh my gosh. I. I just don't even know. We're, we're never going to complete the set. We will eventually in like 10 years. But yeah, so many secret rares. Literally, was it four or five pages full of secret rares? My gosh, that's insane. Okay, and then let's move on to the Pokemon Center exclusive. This one was supposed to come with 10 packs, but due to a manufacturing error it just has the one two three four five six seven yep eight has the eight packs we'll put you on the right side and then there are some differences though we have metal dice that's pretty cool some metallic dice right there we got those your normal energy cards cool looking sleeves Nice, and it does look like, yeah, there is a big old coin that you only get in this box. That's pretty cool. Put you back there. All right, so let's get into the pack battle. We'll probably go back and forth. Should we go back and forth? I guess I'm pre-recording this so I don't hear your comments, but we'll start with the left side. We might go back and forth. I will make that decision in about 60 seconds. But Chilling Rain has some really cool artwork. I've just been enjoying, even a lot of the common cards have just been pretty sweet, not gonna lie. Yeah, hopefully we come across that Weedle card because that Weedle is just, it's so cool. Steamy, Rugged Helmet, Deerling, Galarian Slowpoke, Very Happy Coughing, Snorunt, Rapid Strike, and our Agron. We do not have this one yet. That'll help us with our... Okay, we'll just go left side then right side. With our Master Set. That'll take us a while to complete. But, you know, that that's okay. You know, it's okay if it takes a while for you to complete a goal. I think sometimes we get so... Um, what's the word? Impatient. We get impatient and think that we need to complete some kind of goal, whether it's collecting, whether it's business, whether it's relationship-wise, like thinking we have to do all this in three weeks. <laughs> thinking I need to complete my master set, you know, in the next month. Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Larvesta, I don't think we've pulled this one yet, but that is really cool. Just Larvesta with all like these golden roses. That is a cool card. And what, what's going on back here? It's almost like Christmas night <laughs> like why do we have the the krishna star in the background what's going on back there i have no idea but that's cool sobble meditating sobble getting stronger ladyba 
Reverse Hollow Haunter, and a Starbucks. Starbucks coffee. You'll have to excuse my dad jokes. They just roll right out the tongue. I can't even control it anymore, but I've been doing dad jokes since before I was a dad, so it just, it just comes naturally. <laughs> uh, Kakuna, Path to the Peak. Very snowy path to the peak. Hetram, Grookey, Mareep. Now we have had some really good luck with Chilling Rain so far. We'll see if that luck continues, as I know ch some people have had horrible luck when it comes to Chilling Rain. Getting ETBs with almost nothing in it, or nothing in it. And then when I say nothing, I'm using more of the words. Because honestly, I, I understand, you know, you pay 50 bucks, you pay 40 bucks, you know, plus tax. You're hoping to get some good cards, some like some cards that are harder to come by. I like I understand that, but I think sometimes we just go through all these cards. Like even right now, I'm kind of going through these cards a little faster, mostly because I've seen them already. I've seen several of these cards, but I mean, we have to appreciate this. Like, what? I understand this is a hair cross common card, but just look at this artwork. We have to appreciate this Super Saiyan hair cross. Where else are you going to get a Super Saiyan hair cross than in Chilling Rain? I mean, this is probably also in a, maybe one of the Japanese sets. I'm not sure which one, but still, <laughs> Super Saiyan hair cross. I just love this card. Like, I, it's so cool. Clavopus, Grookey, Weedle. See this? Here's the Weedle card. Man, it's kind of cut funky. Yeah, these Chilling Rain cards are kind of weird. I think just, they've been, I think the Pokemon Center, or not Pokemon Center, Pokemon has been using new printers. And so I think that's why in Battle Styles, in Chilling Rain, we're just kind of getting funky cuts. I think it's just, it's a new printer. Ooh, nice hollow lichen rock. That is, that is very cool. Also kind of creepy, not someone you want to run into at night. Actually, you are hollow rare. I'm going to set you to the side over here. Okay, let's keep going. But yeah, going back to goals though. Seriously, if you work on a goal, collecting goal, whatever, like, I don't think you should necessarily put a timetable on it. At least not like a timetable, like if I don't get it by this time, then, or if I don't achieve it by this time, then I'm just going to give up. What's the point in that? I understand, you know, being like, okay, I want to be able to get to here by, you know, June 30th. That's fine. I think that's fine. Doing monthly goals, weekly goals. But what if he, that does, what if you don't get there? You know, are you just going to give up? Are you just going to say, oh, this must not be, here we go. Celebi V Max. Let's go. Yes. There we go. Very cool card. Very big Celebi. <laughs> oh, very nice. All right. Our first big hit. Big hit from Chilling Rain and from the left side. Okay. We're going to have to move through these packs a little faster. Especially since I am doing recording this video during a work break. <laughs> but I can't take that break for too much longer. So we got Honey, Avery, Blitzel. Lost on a iceberg, Larvesta, Porygon 2, and or not coughing but wheezing. All right, so this side, the left side was the normal, yeah, it was the normal ETB. Just got, I'm pretty sure I got that one from a, a game shop. But I guess don't, 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 don't do that to yourself when it comes to goals, give yourself time. You know, I'm thinking it's fine, you know, trying to say I want to achieve this by this day. That's cool. I think that that helps to, you know, put a little good pressure on you so that you're not lazy and just putting things off. Ooh, wow, that's a really cool Rillaboom uh, card. Really cool Rillaboom artwork. Dude looks like he's about to go to town rocking it. Look at him. <laughs> very nice. Very cool. But yeah, because you... You might, you might want the goal to only take you six months, but what, what if it's actually going to take you three years? Like, what if you are working towards something that it could be potentially life-changing, potentially bring a lot more happiness to your life, 
but you say, oh, I'm, I, th this has to happen in eight months. Like what? Oh, Blissia, I, did I do this wrong? I must have this wrong. But still, Blissey, cool. Okay, we got a Blissey V. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, just thrown up. I must have done the. Uh, did I do that wrong? I must have done that wrong. Okay. Anyway, Blissey, nice Blissey V. Man, Blissey looking like she's about to smack someone upside the head. Do not miss with that Blissey. All right. So I got two main hits from the normal ETB. Let's go into the Pokemon Center exclusive. Let's see if these were worth getting. Oops. All right, guys, give yourself time. Because like I was saying, if it's life-changing, if it's really going to be something that you want to do, like let's say if you want a, a career shift, like what difference is it going to make if it takes you three years instead of the eight months that you want if you get to do that the rest of your life? You know, why would you give up after a year if you could be there in three years and just do it the rest of your life? If you could have that happiness, that, uh, you know, new experiences, you know, for the rest of your life, why, why, I, I just, I don't understand. I mean, I understand, but I don't think it's the right strategy to assume that if whatever it is that you want to happen doesn't happen by a certain time, you know, in the next nine months, in the next two years, by the time you're 30, by the time you're 35. Like I have I have friends who I love them dearly. I love them so dearly. But who seem to think that, you know, if they're not married by 32 or by 30, that they're ne that they'll never be married. I can't talk. That they'll never be married or and borrows. Or, you know, if just because, you know, they are quote unquote behind, um, you know, other people because, you know, they don't own a house or because they don't make a certain amount of money and they're 35. Like, who cares? Who cares how old you are? Do you, like, honestly, if you are 35, do you realize how young you are if you're 35? I'm about to be 30. Do you realize I feel younger now than I did when I was freaking 17 because I actually have a better perspective on life and so I understand like oh my gosh I have so much time like I I, I, I am more experienced I have more insights and so I feel so much more energized to work on my goals because I actually feel like I can do them like at 17 I'm so glad like some of these things that I want, wanted to happen when I was 18 didn't happen because I'm so much more, again, experienced, so much have much better perspective. Just, guys, you're, you're so young. 35? Are you, even if you're 40, are you kidding me? Like, my dad is in his 60s, in his 60s, and just getting started. And when I say that, I mean he's been a businessman pretty much my whole life, in one thing or another. And it's really now, in his 60s, that he's starting to, you know, I don't. How do I want to say this without making it seem like I'm trying to show off my dad too much? But he's now, now he's starting to have all these. Oh, very cool Gallade card. These things that people wanted when they were when they're thirty. You know, he's now he's meeting with, you know, presidents and with leaders of other businesses and getting his business now internationally recognized like it's it took time it took time and hard work but he never would have got there and and i say got there just to where he's at right now but i know he has a whole other vision of like where it could be in like 20 years but he never would have got to even this point had he given up had he said oh i'm 40 now i'm 45 i guess it's not gonna happen no, he's freaking like, I don't even remember how old he is, like 64, 65. And the thing is, he has, yeah, he is much, he's even more energetic than I am. He has much, he's in better health than I am, I think. <laughs> like he's in his 60s and he runs, uh, it's, it's about eight miles a day. Like 
Do you realize that most people, the perception of society when it comes to be, being in your 60s is that in your 60s, you're supposed to retire. You're supposed to be all old and start and take medications. He's not on any single medication. He's running every single day. He runs a friggin' business. He talks with doctors. He travels, you know, to multiple countries. He just, he is just doing his thing, man. He is doing his thing because at the end of the day, age is just a number. Age, you can be an old 25 year old and you can be a young 75 year old. It just depends on, first and foremost, if you're taking care of your health, obviously, taking care of both your physical and mental health because your mental health affects your physical health. But also depends on how you're perceiving yourself. Do you think 30 is old? Because it's not, it's definitely not. Do you think 65 is old? Because it's definitely not. Sneasel, whoa, okay, we're about to, we're on our last pack. I'm going to say the other ETB already won because we have not pulled a single ultra rare, which, you know, like I was saying earlier, <laughs> That's fine. We've pulled some cards that I do need for our master set. But a little surprising that we haven't pulled anything so far, like as far as anything bigger. I've heard some people complaining about these Pokemon Center exclusive ETB. So maybe they're just, wow. Yeah, that's, this was our only, I guess, bigger pull, this Hollow Fro Frostlass. That's kind of surprising. But there you go. I think we know who won. <laughs> Just to look uh, at the other ETB, we did get this Blissey V, a Hollow Rillaboom, Celebi V Max, and a Lycan Rock Hollow. So, yeah, much better pulls from the regular ETB. I don't know that saying much. Like, if you have a Pokemon Center uh, exclusive ETB, don't know if all the pull rates are going to be like this, but something to consider. All right, guys. So, that's all I got for today. Again, don't pull don't put that kind of pressure of saying you have to achieve your goal you know in the next 12 months or otherwise it means that you're not meant for it like just just don't put that pressure on yourself give yourself time be consistent be diligent but also be patient that's all i got for today guys so have a fantastic day night whenever you're watching this and i will catch you guys later